Mad Panic Gaming. Awesome! What's up, everybody? Jim here. Welcome back for another epic retro game hunt. And strap yourselves in, because today it is 100% PC Engine. An almost unlimited supply of shooters, platformers, beat-em-ups, you name them. They got them. So I hope you're ready, because that is what's coming up next. Alright, getting started. Hey, check this out. Uh, some artwork by good old Sarumaru. This is still here. I think this has been here for like the last five or six years, whenever he drew that uh, for them. They used to carry uh, Henshin Engine FX Unit Yuki uh, copies of that, but uh, they sold out pretty quickly. Avenger! on the PC Engine CD. A pretty decent little top-down shooter by Telenet, I believe. Uh, although now there is a Telenet shooting collection available on modern consoles. Uh, so you can pick it up on your Switch or PS4 along with a bunch of other Telenet shooters such as Gaiares, uh, which is also a classic. But there it is, Avenger on the PC Engine CD. Still not a terribly expensive game. East 4! The Dawn of East, classic game, and Urusei Yatsura, uh, which is another one of those games that really just wanted to show off uh, the PC Engine's ability to have like uh, CD, CD audio quality and uh, cutscenes and various things like that. Volfeev by Taito. If you don't know what Volfeev is, and that's a factory sealed copy, it's Quix, the old arcade game Quix. Alien Crush. Um, excellent game. I do like my pinball, and when I can, I like to play some video pinball. Uh, so I like Alien Crush, Devil's Crush, Sonic Spinball, and uh, even that Sinron Kagura, what was it, Peach Ball, or whatever the hell it was, that wacky stuff. Uh, but yeah, Alien Crush uh, is an excellent game, and uh, well worth picking up if you like yourself some video pinball. Galaga 88, pretty good, more or less like classic Galaga, but you know, the 88 version. Uh, so, you know, a doubly good. Clax, which Clax is so common on the PC Engine, you can still pick it up for like five bucks uh, if you like yourself some Clax. Cobra 2, uh, which, is this the one that got released on the Turbo Duo, or was that the original Cobra? I don't know. I've only actually, I've played the Cobra PC Engine games, and I've played the arcade game, the shooting game, which is pretty good. Cybercross. Uh, this is a fun little game. It's just a very simple side-scrolling uh, beat-em-up, kind of like Vigilante. Um, but it's got a, like a Power Rangers gimmick. So you can turn into a Power Ranger, and you can change color, and that'll give you different weapons. So I think the red one has a sword, the blue one has a gun, the green one has like a boomerang or something. So it's pretty fun. Uh, Space Harrier, 1680 for the classic that is Space Harrier. Uh, although I think there are better consoles to play it on. And uh, Taito Chase HQ for 1980, uh, which ain't too bad. A lot of the Taito games are uh, still pretty cheap. I'm, I'm just betting that they sold really well because they're good games. And who doesn't like Taito? I like Taito anyway. I guess somebody out there might not like Taito. Puyo Puyo CD for 980 yen. So that's like, I don't know, six bucks or something. Uh, just a great version of the original Puyo Puyo. It was on uh, the Super NES, it was on the Mega Drive, on basically everything that ever existed had Puyo Puyo. Uh, but the PC Engine CD version has nice visuals and uh, again, that uh, nice CD quality audio, which is what I was trying to say earlier when I was talking about uh, the Urusei Yasuda game. For some reason, I couldn't get it out. I was like, CD audi mix audio quality after, I don't know, brain fart. Um, and we've got a lot of PCs and consoles in here as well. And here, the hell does that say? Bath Lease? 31 something for the super graphics. So. I really don't know. I've never even played a Super Graphics in my life. I know there are only like half a dozen games made specifically for it, and it'll play your PC Engine games as well, but I've never played one. Kabuki Din! 
Uh, Tengai Makyo Kabuki Den, that's right. Kabuki was so popular, he had to have his own game. Uh, and it's a fun little game as well, but definitely the Tengai Makyo series. Of all the, the PC Engine CD games that uh, had the anime style and... Uh, lots of cutscenes and stuff. I, I think it's safe to say the Tengai Makyo games uh, had the best. It's a close call between Tengai Makyo, I think, and like East, especially with something like East 4 had really nice detailed images in it. Um, but the Far East of Eden games, they were just, um, well, they were in a class all their own. Really beautiful artwork, and it translated surprisingly well to the PC Engine. With what limited hardware they had, they were able to make some some pretty nice looking detailed images. All right, where the hell are we? Um, we got ourselves a nice little shelf of PC Engine games here. We're in Sudogaya, uh, which their PC Engine selection here is pretty modest, but as you'll see, they had some pretty good stuff for 7,300 yen. Uh, we have the original Shinobi, uh, which plays pretty well on the PC Engine. I like this, this classic walk to the right and kill everything and save other captive ninja Shinobi. Uh, I'm not a big fan of, like, uh, what, Revenge of Shinobi. It's an okay game. I'm not as fond of it as everyone else is. I like original Shinobi, and I especially like Shadow Dancer. Um, but I love Shinobi 3. Isn't it ironic? Uh, 4400 uh, for the original Xevious, which I like a lot. Actually, when I get a chance, I like to go to uh, Mikado and play just the original arcade version. I can just sit there and play Xevious for what feels like hours at a time. Uh, Fire Pro Wrestling, second bout, and then also, uh, what is it, a uh, uh, tag battle, something to that effect, something or other tag battle, and Final Lap Twin. You can see these are pretty cheap games. They're like between five and ten bucks. Uh, but Wataru, though, aka Keith Courage and Alpha Zones, 4100, and I am not the biggest fan of that game. It's It was a pack-in game with the Turbo Graphics back in the day. Uh, but I, I find it to be a fairly subpar, like, action platforming type game. Uh, much better uh, games in that genre would come out on the PC Engine, stuff like Bonk. B-Ball, though, can't complain about B-Ball, a.k.a. Chu Man Fu on the Turbo Graphics. I like this game a lot. Very fun puzzler, and you can play it with uh, multiplayer, so that's pretty cool, too. Uh, but yeah, B-Ball. I've known it forever as B-Ball, and then somebody clued me into the fact that it was called Chu Man Fu uh, in North America. But I like it a lot, and uh, not a terribly expensive game. 6700 on PC Genjin, and 6200 Not a cheap game, but it's Parodius Da. And uh, you really can't go wrong with a good old-fashioned Parodius game. You got penguins and octopi and you got the Vic Viper if you want it from Gradius but they're just a lot of fun they're basically Gradius games but really wacky and you know what sometimes a fella just feels like he's gonna get wacky am I right all you fellas out there have you ever felt like you had to get wacky I don't know maybe it's just me maybe I'm the only wacky one out here uh, but Parodius uh, certainly qualifies as wacky. Where am I going with this? Uh, Doraemon for 1100. Uh, that's very cheap. 1400 for Dragon Spirit. So Dragon Spirit, still like a $10 game. Uh, not terribly expensive at all. And then 4900 though for Dragon Saber. Uh, the less common sequel. We've got some Twin B. We've got some Adventure Island. We've got some Load Runner. We've got some East 1 and 2 for 1500 so that's like, that's like a tenner for that. Uh, Valis 4, uh, what the hell else we got in here? We got the, the something or other legend. All right, she's legendary. She looked pretty legendary to me. I don't know about you, but I'm easily impressed. I, 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 oh, wow, everything's a legend. Uh, 1600 so again, right around 10 bucks for uh, some Darius. Uh, some Super Darius, as a matter of fact. It's not just Darius, but it's Super. Um, I like the Darius series a lot. I think it got better as time went on. A lot of shoot 'em up series that carried on through the 90s did get better. So I think, like, Darius Gaiden is kind of the pinnacle of the series, if you ask me. Although those original arcade games, it's hard to argue with those big, uh, giant, expansive screens. Those are really fun to play on. Valus 3... For 3700 that's 20 like 25 bucks. Um, that's getting up there. They got those Valus collections now, so you don't really need the PC Engine games unless you are indeed a collector. 
Uh, some Cosmic Fantasy, I have to admit, I've never played a Cosmic Fantasy game. I'm not the biggest on visual novels, but uh, they're pretty cheap. 7900 for some Gojira. Uh, Godzilla action. This is an excellent game. Um, well, I say excellent, but it, it, it's good if you're a Godzilla fan, because as a 2D fighter, it's kind of mediocre. Um, but you get all these Godzilla characters to play as. And isn't this really what you would want from a Godzilla game? Is just the monsters fight, and that's it, you know? That's the best part of those movies. Uh, I'm actually quite the fan of the Godzilla games that came out in the sixth generation. So, like, PS2 and Xbox Godzilla games were awesome. Gradius 2! 2300 yen, so this is like 16 bucks, something like that. This is an amazing game. Really excellent port of Gradius 2. Uh, great visuals, amazing soundtrack. Uh, it is hard as nails, um, but it's one of those games that, like, like any Gradius game, basically, once you start to figure the levels out and start to get better at it, it is immensely fun. And uh, I just can't get enough of it. Gradius 2, I can't sing its praises enough on the PC Engine CD. Here we have The Legend of Xanadu. Interestingly enough, they made a game about the movie Xanadu uh, featuring Olivia Newton-John. Uh, I think it came out in 1980. It was a musical. Had some uh, classic music in it, almost like a disco movie. Uh, for the game, though, they changed some things around a bit. Uh, so there's like something with dragons and warriors or whatever. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention, but uh, the soundtrack is uh, still really good. Uh, so we got some wizardry, which a lot of people don't know how like important wizardry was in Japan and getting uh, RPGs off the ground. Red Alert! Hello, Mr. Not Rambo. Uh, Red Alert, pretty fun. I think another Telenet game. Uh, it's a top-down run-and-gun, but it's, you know, don't be expecting, like, uh, anything too mind-blowing. It's it's a fairly mediocre run-and-gun, but I do like how everyone dies in a bloody mess. That's kind of funny. And visually, it actually kind of reminds me of the Die Hard game, for whatever reason. It has, like, the same little white pellet bullets. Um, but there you go, some Red Alert, some Raisin Burr 2. I don't like raisins in my bars, but maybe you do. Ranma, one half, uh, something or other. There's like three or four Ranma games on the PC Engine, so I always forget which one is which. Uh, one of them is just straight up like uh, nothing but cut scenes. It's like a visual novel. The other ones are fighting games of sorts. Dragon Slayer, Legend of Heroes. Um, that, again, a sequel in the Dragon Slayer series, one of the early uh, Japanese RPG series 600 for uh, CD Soccer Hen, uh, aka Nintendo World Cup. Awesome game. Fiend Hunter. Uh, this is an interesting game. I had a hard time uh, getting into it because control wise, it feels like it wants to play like um, out of this world or something like that. The way the controls are, the way you move and do your platforming. Um, but then it also wants you to do like combat and it wants to be like an action platformer But the controls are not as such like out of this world is fun But it's more of a puzzle platformer like an odd world or something uh, The combat is not the focus at all. So they wanted to have a game that controlled like that Had a more realistic movements for the character, but was also an action platformer. It just didn't really work for me We had populist we got metal angel 2 uh, another one that I see all the time, it's super cheap, like another visual novel game. Um, but again, one I'm not so hot on. 2100 though for Yu Yu Hakusho, the PC Engine CD Yu Yu Hakusho game. Again, interesting. They tried to turn it into kind of like a, a shooter, I guess. You fight your opponent by like shooting at him like it's a light gun game. And I get that they wanted to do something that showed off the graphical capabilities of the PC Engine. Uh, but honestly, uh, the best of those Yu Yu Hakusho games from the 90s are just the the generic 2D fighters. Um, and then another Ronda one half game, I guess. Another one of the fighters. There you go. They all have such eye-catching covers, don't they? Ranma, super colorful. Rumiko Takahashi, classic stuff. And then this is pretty cool. Uh, 3500, uh, I forget the full title, but it's essentially like Kabuki Clash. It's... A 2D fighter featuring all the characters from Far East of Eden. And it's only available for the PC Engine CD with the arcade card. 
Uh, so it's a pretty damn obscure game. Um, I think Kabuki Clash that came out later for like Neo Geo consoles, that was a much more ho uh, high profile game. Uh, this one though, not so much. It's another Kabuki centric game as well. Uh, and then the Master, the Jong Master, something or other. So some kind of weird fantasy Mahjong game, I'm assuming. Again, I have no idea how to play Mahjong. I was actually shocked when I met someone who did know how to play Mahjong. I was like, how do you how do you make hide or hair of this? Or is that the right thing? Or is it hide or tell? I don't know. Uh, last but not least, though, we are in Super Potato. We got some motor over there. They got a nice little display here for their PC Engine section. I like that a lot. Uh, first up here, 5808. Uh, we got the better of the Cho Aniki games. Uh, which isn't to say it's like a great game. It's not a an amazing shooter or anything. Um, but it's definitely, I think, better than the other one where you just have the giant bald guys that, I mean, they, they look like big phalluses. I think that's the point. It's a very phallic game. Um, but it's, so it, it's still loaded with tons of weird shit, but it's it's better than the other uh, Chowanaki game on the PC Engine. We got Kadash. We've got uh, Twin Cobra here. Cute Kyoku Tiger. We got some Valkyrie no Densetsu. That's an amazing game. Uh, Shubiban Man. I think AKA Shock Man. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was released on the Turbo Graphics. Another copy of Galaga 88 1408. So that ain't bad. That's like 10 bucks. Like, if I find games. Um, oh, uh, 1848 on Columns. That's more than it usually goes for. Whenever I can find a game, like any game that's like retro, whether it be PC Engine or Super Famicom or anything like that, uh, if I can find some for 10 bucks or less, I'm like, all right, that's great. Uh, Volfeev, and it's not even factory sealed, 29.48. Uh, so these prices are higher than they were at Game Camp, uh, which is surprising. Maybe Game Camp doesn't sell a lot of PC Engine games, so they they're generous on their prices. A salamander for fifty-two fifty-eight. So that's almost uh, actually that's probably about a thirty-five dollar game. But this is an excellent port of Salamander. Uh, unlike the NES version, uh, Life Force, the PC Engine version plays more or less just like the arcade version. Um, so you don't have your chain of power-ups as you would in a traditional Gradius game. You just grab your power-ups and that's it. You touch the power up and now you have it activated. And uh, you go back and forth between side scrolling and vertical scrolling. And it's challenging, it's fun, it has nice visuals and a great soundtrack. And the PC Engine version is excellent. Psycho Chaser, which I think is a top down shoot em up of sorts. You're like a robot running around, I can't really remember. Uh, some of these PC Engine games, when I bought them back in the day, I played them for like 20 minutes or so. Uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo for 1848. Uh, that's a good port of that game, but you need to get yourself the six button controller. The standard PC Engine controller sucks for fighting games. Uh, Dai Simpu, this is a great older Toa Plan shooter. Uh, it's pretty um, generic, I think, compared to some of the other shooters, especially later shooters they would put out. Uh, but it's pretty cool. You can uh, get a bunch of planes to kind of act almost as like kamikaze planes. Uh, you, they'll take hits for you. You can like hide behind them, uh, but they'll also shoot down lots of enemies and stuff So instead of super bombs, you have a, a whole fleet of planes. It's pretty good uh, 5918 on Detana Twinby uh, Which is an excellent game. It's not getting any cheaper, but it is a very fun top-down shooter I'd say between like this and the Gradius games and Castlevania and Snatcher and whatever else uh, Konami really crushed it on the PC Engine, but uh, Death to Not Twinby, uh, fantastic. Although I will say that probably for cheaper than this on the PS1 and the Sega Saturn, there is a Twinby Deluxe Pack, so it's like a Twinby collection. So it has Death to Not Twinby and the sequel Twinby Yahoo. Uh, so two amazing games, pretty much arcade perfect ports, and uh, cheaper than their PC Engine counterpart. Uh, Knight Rider Special, 4378. Um, interesting game, I guess. It's all you do is drive around shooting bad guys off the road. So you're Michael Knight and you're driving kids. And it does have like some cutscenes with like a David Hasselhoff looking <laughs> like pixelated character in him. And it does feature PC Engine version 
um, like music from Knight Rider. So if you like the Knight Rider theme song, you get a little bit of that in your PC Engine game. So who can argue with that? Uh, another one, uh, CD, not CD, PC Soccer Hand, 2728. Uh, so that's actually the Hue Card uh, Niketsu Soccer game. Again, uh, aka Nintendo World Cup. Anything with Kunio Kun in it, uh, I'm gonna be happy. Final Soldier, amazing game, 4378. PC Genjin, 7458. Yow! That's expensive. That's like 3,000 yen more than it was at like Sudagaya, even. Uh, 1738 for East 1 and 2. At least the East games uh, are still pretty cheap. I have to imagine when the PC Engine CD first. Uh, hit the scene. Games like East were uh, blowing people's heads off. Uh, Thirty-two seventy-eight for East Four, so that one's a little more expensive, uh, which makes sense. It was released a little later, maybe less copies sold. People moving on to Super Famicoms or Mega Drives or whatever else. Uh, we got some other good stuff here. We got more Wizardry. We've got Valus Three, which is a fine enough game, and we have Valus Four. Uh, which itself is a pretty, 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 pretty good uh, action platformer. I'm kind of torn on the Valus games because I like the graphics, I like the sound design, everything is great. Um, the story is kind of nonsensical, but it can be followed. But as, as action platformers, they're just okay. I don't think you'd rather play a Valus game over, say, a Castlevania or a like a Mega Man X or something, but they're okay. They're decent. Uh, I can um, I can enjoy playing through them, uh, but I think it's really the total package with those. If they weren't on the PC Engine CD, they might not be uh, quite as enjoyable. And a really great game here, although 87.78, about 60 bucks. Uh, but it's Star Perogier. Uh which this game is excellent. Um, if you like. Uh, any of the Star Soldier games. Uh, this is basically the the kind of like Star Soldier Parodius equivalent. Uh, it's a parody of the Soldier series and you get to play as a giant flying PC engine. So, I mean, what the hell are you waiting for? If you, if you haven't already, play this damn game because uh, it's super fun. You're a giant PC engine with arms and legs uh, shooting things and collecting Hue cards for power-ups. So, you know, essentially like the best game ever made. Uh, here we have what I think uh, the most blatant of the the, uh, the final fight knockoffs back in the day. We have Crest of Wolf. And actually, never mind. This doesn't look anything like Final Fight. This is like it's obviously its own unique thing. First of all, this guy's name is Hawk. His name is definitely... It's not Cody. It's Hawk, so... There's a world of difference there, but um, yeah, Crest of Wolf. Uh, aside from that, 52.58. Aside from it being a uh, Final Fight knockoff, it's just a like a really mediocre uh, side-scrolling beat 'em up. Another copy of Gradius 2, and uh, this is again much more expensive, 54.78. Uh, so again, that's like how much was the one at Sudagaya? I, I, I want to say this is like at least 2,000 yen more, between two and 3,000 yen. Uh, that's, that ain't chump change. That's a big difference. So shop around, folks. Uh, 73 whatnot, though, for Macross 2036. Uh, as a Macross game, pretty cool. You get the stuff you want from the, a Macross game. There's good music. Um, there's plenty of recognizable stuff from the anime. The ships are very cool. Uh, all that good stuff. Aesthetically, everything is the way you would want it to be, but as a shoot 'em up, it's just eh. Especially if it's on the PC Engine, you're comparing it to like Blazing Lasers and Lords of Thunder and things like that. It's not so great. And speaking of shooters, last game we're gonna take a look at today. This one is also pretty damn good. 6578 for Ray Zambar 2. Uh, again, we talk about our Lords of Thunder and our, our Blazing Lasers and our Gradiuses and our Parodiuses and all that. Uh, Raisin Bird 2, it's right in the meaty part of the curve. It's not like the best shooter on the console, but it's pretty damn good. And, you know, graphically, they did some cool stuff. Sound design is pretty good. So Raisin Bird 2, I really can't complain. Uh, if you haven't played that or Raisin Bird 3 on the PC Engine, 
Uh, give them a shot. They're pretty good. But that is it for all the PC Engine games. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.